Hey everyone. Um, so I am going to do, looking classy as always, um, I am going to do, it is actually really hot today, um, I am going to do a very super, super quick video um, on how I utilize Photoshop just to kind of do what I need to do. Um, there are a, a bunch of places, a bunch of apps that you can get um, that will do graphics for you. Some of the more popular ones are Photogrid, um, Photofy, which I use, and Word Swag, but when those don't cut it, um, I use Photoshop, and I do a very, very basic Photoshop. Um, Photoshop is free for 14 days to download the full Photoshop um, and they, the Creative Cloud, which I, there's always got to be a catch. You have to have the, the Creative Cloud. And then it's a $9.99 a month subscription. For me, it's worth it because I use it for um, different Lula things, so I really... Um, I need it for what I use it for. Um, so I'm gonna just give you guys kind of a quick idea of how to do like basic, basic stuff. Um, first thing I will tell you is when you are creating graphics, there are not gonna be a lot of graphics out there for you guys to just kind of take and do with it what you will because it's a new company. Um, if you guys are taking graphics, um, from one of the Facebook pages um, that you guys are on like there's a there's a graphics page I think I added you guys all to um, if you are taking those graphics um, they have been reposted a bunch of times by different stylists so um, what's gonna happen is when you take any image from the internet it's gonna be something from a Google search it's gonna be a widely used um, um, graphic or, or quote or whatever um, what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to run it through either an Instagram filter or open up like word sometimes I'll open up word swag and I'll put like a tiny like the tiniest little period like I'll just type in a period and put it in the bottom right corner of my graphic and then save it and post it that way because what happens is when we talk about things like Facebook algorithms um, what happens is Facebook will see when you post that that graphic from Google that's been used or shared however many umpteen thousands of times and they uh, will assume that it's an ad or spammy or it won't it won't rank as high for in a news feed for visibility because Facebook does not view that as original content um, but if you run it through an Instagram filter at like a tiny little period somewhere or you brand it with your your website name um, and then post it Facebook will read that as original content and you'll rank higher in people's news feeds for visibility this is all actually important stuff okay so um, like I said I utilize those for it when I need to make a collage I actually have a Mac so I use a free program called pick collage um, because about a year and a half ago when I was kind of like new to all this stuff, um, that was the easiest thing I found and I've just continued to use it. But there's a million different collage apps and things like that. Um, I'll keep looking over to see what my kid is up to. So, um, for purpose of demonstration, Photoshop. People hear Photoshop and they think like, oh, this is super scary. Kat, I think, is was a production major, um, so she's probably real familiar with Photoshop and she's probably watching this like, Jen, you're such an idiot. That's so basic. Um, but I'm basic. What can I say? So let me do a screen share. Okay. And minimize that. And open Photoshop, and I'm going to make my Photoshop nice and big. Okay, so this is Photoshop. You can see I do actually use this a lot for uh, my Lula stuff. I use it to uh, brighten photos. Like, sometimes things just don't photograph, like, quite true to color. And I uh, superimpose um, my size and graphic on it. So, uh, okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the file I want to play with. So let's just do something random. So I'll go to Color Street, and it's already there. All right, so um, I'm gonna open up this. Now the other thing you guys should know is I posted the branding guidelines. There are specific fonts that you can use for Color Street. So the fonts are Opficio, um, Helvetica something. 
um, dancing script and Gotham medium. Um, these are not standard fonts on a computer. You will have to download them. Where do you download them, you ask? Go in the file section of the team page. All the fonts are there. You just have to double click and download them. Once they're downloaded, click to open them. Um, some of them will give you some warnings like, oh, at least my Mac did, like, hey, this may not be safe. Um, it's the same one I downloaded on my computer and my computer's still in one piece. Um, so uh, trust it, open it, and bam, shabam. Once you open it, um, just make sure if it prompts you that you install it across all programs and every program, including Photoshop, will now have those specific fonts. Okay, so I just opened up the image I wanna play with. So this is my um, Facebook cover photo at the moment. However, mine is branded and yours should be too. So really, really basic. So if I just want to add, Sorry, I'm just trying to, the, uh, there's a drop down on the Zoom that keeps popping up when I'm going up top and it's driving me nuts. So, I want to add text. There's also specific colors that you can use. I just, I'm not that picky, um, but if it's uh, generally for something that's like, um, that I want attention drawn to like this, I'll just do black. So, um, all right, so I wanted to do black. So I'm just gonna go down here over to the right and I'm gonna click black. You'll see that black color box pop up here. And then to do a text, I'm just gonna click the T. I'm gonna look up top here. I have it set to Gothic medium, but you can always type in like, I want dancing, Ugh, I can't spell. Dancing script regular. Let's do that. So you'll see the box, just click wherever the heck you want to. And then I'm just gonna type in color street by Jen. Okay, now I don't like the size of the font, so I'm gonna just highlight it, click up here, make it smaller, okay, whatever. Now I've done this, well now I wanna move it because it's not center. So in order to do that, you gotta go up to the left and go to that four-way directional arrow, click it, and that will actually set this. So now I can move it and you'll see I what I love about Photoshop is it will tell you what middle is of anything like here it's hard to see but I can actually see where the E is in street there's a vertical pink line that's showing me that that is center okay I can also move it down here let's see if it'll tell me what and there it'll tell me you know what, I like center here, okay? Um, let's say I had a typo and now I need to go back. I'm gonna click on text. And I'll just click somewhere in the middle there and then I can do whatever I need to do, okay? Let's say I wanna remove something here. Okay, well, let's not be that fancy yet. Let's say I want to not use black and I want to use a color that matches something else on this image, anywhere on this image. So, just get rid of layer one. Um, if at any point you screw up something, you can just go over here to the right, like background is what I just uploaded and I just got rid of what I just typed. So it's a blank slate. And you just drag it down to the trash can down here. So let's say, I want my lettering to be in this purple down here. So if you go over here to the left, there's this little ink dropper, eye dropper, ink dropper. Click the eye dropper, and now you'll see this little eye dropper all over the place. What that's gonna do is it's going to um, pick up any color you click on, and it's going to match it. So I want this purple. See, if you press and hold, It'll show that purple. I always select it twice so that it's straight up purple or all whatever color you choose. And now I want to write my text. So I'm going to click that text box. This time I want to use the other pre-approved script, which is Gotham. So I'm going to type it in. And then I'm going to click here. I'm going to write color street. See how that matches now this purple. And then same thing. 
click the four-way directional tool to set it, and now you can just press and hold over it and move it wherever you want to. Okay, so that's kind of how you do that. Let's say, I'm trying to think of what else without being too crazy. So that's how I basically brand stuff. Like I literally just come in here and you know match up with the eyedropper tool or whatever and then just add in the text that I want. Um, I'm sorry that I'm itching. I actually just took, uh, I had medical tape on me for a monitor. And you can see my chest is red. I had a reaction, a little bit of a reaction to the adhesive in the tape. Uh, so I'm scratching and making it worse, obviously. So um, I don't even know if you guys can see when I screen share, but I can see myself right now and I'm like scratching my, my welts. Um, okay. So let's say this let this fun begin thing. Let's say I don't want that here anymore. Now I'm not perfect at this. This is not gonna be perfect. This is going to be basic. So I don't want that there anymore. So I'm gonna click the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna click something like this seems like a pretty, I'm clicking the background right behind what I'm getting rid of. Remember to click it twice so the whole thing is that color. And then over here to the left at the bottom below this arrow is the rectangle tool. Click it. And then you can literally just highlight what you want to get rid of. Unclick and bam, it's gone. Um, it's not really gone, it's just been covered over in what we just selected with the eyedropper tool. And same thing, you always use that four-way cursor to make it go away. And then I could always put text right over top of it by saying blah, 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 in whatever color I want to, okay? Now let's say I want to save this hard work that I've just done. This is important. You want to go to File, and then you want to go to Save As. Click my desktop. Now, you can name it whatever you want, you know, messing around with nonsense. Okay, you'll see that the extension at the end is a .psd file, so it's a Photoshop design or whatever the heck that stands for, okay? You don't want it to be a PSD file because what will happen is when you go to upload this PSD to Facebook, you're gonna have a problem. And none of these overlays that you just put down, you know, getting rid of that lettering, putting something on top, that's not gonna stick. It's gonna be the original image. It's not gonna be a good thing. Okay, so never save it like that. So um, when it, you're gonna go down here after you've renamed it and figured out where you want it to save, where it says format, you're gonna need to change that to a JPEG image. Make sure that this box that says embed color profile is checked. Same thing, it won't save what you added. My kids lost their mind. It won't save, um, you know, kind of the stuff that you've done up here. So make sure you always check to embed the color, color profile and click save. And this box will pop up and it'll act ask you what the image quality is you want to save. 12 is the highest quality and that's a very, very large file. It will take you forever to upload that on Facebook. I save it as four, it's the higher end of low. Every photo, including my Lula photos, are four. Um, so do four, okay? It's a quick upload and then just hit okay and it will save that. And then when you go to exit out of it, it's going to say save changes to the Adobe Photoshop document before clo closing. Uh, don't save because that's asking you to save in that PSD that you don't need. Okay. So let's do something a little whatever. So I'm going to open another random file. Minus. Okay, so I just did this one. So... I want to type some text. I always put my website address in um, on my photos and I always try to put it small and in a really weird spot that people can't get out of it because people will steal your graphics. And if you're gonna steal my graphics, you're gonna advertise for me. <laughs> my child's lost a mind. Um, so. I want to put a little thing up top that just says, you know, whatever this is. So, first thing I'm going to do is go to my eyedropper tool, and I'm going to select a color that I want to put for a background. I like this pink all the way at the bottom of the nail. 
and you can just keep clicking until you get the right text of color. Remember to click it twice so that whole circle is the color you want it. And then I'm going to go down again to the left to this rectangle tool. And I'm going to select this whole top portion. Now, whoop, and then again for cursor, okay, if I want to um, unclick it, okay, or I can go back to the rectangle tool and go highlight that again. So, I uh, don't like it that dark. I want to change what the background looks like. So, if you go down here to the right, you're on this layer, this rectangle, because that's what we just did, and I'm going to change the opacity of it. I'm going to change it to like... I like 68. Usually I'm more of like a lower number girl. 48 is usually my jam, but that doesn't look so good. So, um, I don't know. We'll change it here. See how this changes the image? It makes this more transparent so you can see some of the background through it. I just personally like that. And then I want to do some text. So I'm going to take that eyedropper tool again. Actually, I just want black for this, so it's not even necessary. I'm going to hit the text button. And the thing with this is when you do the rectangle, sometimes the font comes out super, super tiny when you go to superimpose it. Yeah, believe it or not, uh, the text tool is all the way at the top here and it's super, super tiny. So I'm gonna make it like 150. And like, it gets weird. So I'm just gonna put um, Vegas Vixen. Love it. I don't know. It doesn't matter what it is. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Then I'm going to hit that four-way directional arrow again. And now I'm going to move it. So I'm going to click the, the verbiage. And I'm going to go right here. Okay. Done. Now I want to add uh, my website. So I'm still, if I look down here, it's still set to black. So I'm going to hit text and I'm going to make it small. So I'm going to do 24. What? Text. Sorry, I got to click over here. So I'm going to make this 24. 78. Okay. And I'm going to put in... Okay, and then I'm gonna move it. Move it right up here so no one can crop it out. Okay, and then I'll just file, save as, choose where I wanna save it, and then again, change that format to the JPEG. Make sure embed color profile is checked. I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna save it as image quality form. And then when I go to exit out, I'm gonna hit down save because I don't need a Photoshop document copy. And that is like, the super, super basics of how I utilize Photoshop. If you guys have any questions, let me know.